The heat was on at Farmington Public Library during its three-day chalk art competition, where steaming sidewalks were transformed into a colorful meandering canvas. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Traegers and Three Rivers Brewery. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. Farmington Library staff revived the chalk art competition this year by thinking outside the box. Despite the temperature hitting triple digits, dozens of local artists of all ability levels competed for $1,000 in Visa gift cards in three categories, including pros, amateurs, and teens. Among the participants were Abigail Jaramillo and Lily Yoakum, both 12 years old. They worked side by side on the east side of the library. What you think? <laughs> um, I did Stitch. Like, I, I love Stitch, so, um, I thought it'd be a cool idea if I could if I drew him and like added my own like background and stuff. And I liked the way the concrete looked in the background, so I just added Hawaiian flowers on the top. I did like a sunset galaxy thing, where at the top uh, it's like the Milky Way and like a blend of the galaxy, and then the bottom is like a sunset of like and like a camping ground. Um, because like I love I love the galaxy and stuff, but then like the sunset and stuff, so I did a combination of the two. Brian Joe's chalk art was inspired by his memories of sheep herding as a child. He polished it up for judging beneath a hat, sunglasses, and the small respite of shade from a huge umbrella. I kind of had this thing of like sometimes I'd go out there and just kind of, I don't know, thoughts of life. So I kind of put this image of like, uh, I call it holy ground. So he's kind of there talking to God or, or, uh, or his maker all by himself as a young kid going out there sheep herding and he's kind of just out there in nature kind of uh, seeing God's beauty and stuff so that's kind of what I guess in a sense that's kind of what it depicts. Even while standing on hot pavement Joe said it felt good to be outside and good for his kids to be working with the chalk on hands and knees to compete in the team category. I'm just happy to come out and do something it's been a while since I've done something artistic so and uh, my kids also, they were doing some of chalk art as well. So I was just glad that they're out doing something creative instead of sitting at home watching Netflix or something like that. So Taking center stage was professional artist Chris Cook, who sells his pastel work at Artifacts Gallery on downtown Main Street. Halfway finished with his rendition of Maxfield Parish's painting Snowdrop, it will be 13 feet tall and 10 feet wide at completion. He called the competition a triumph. Uh, nope, I think it's a great thing for the community and I like to see all the other people out here working. I think it's pretty great. The chalk art will remain on the sidewalks until the next big rain, which means you'll have plenty of time on a cooler afternoon to stroll the library grounds and relish the joie de vivre. Farmington Public Library is located at 2101 Farmington Avenue. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.